so alive Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm happy head to toe I'm in overdrive It's alright Clear those clouds away I can feel the sun Tonight we have over 25 amazing cosplayers who have all come out this evening to perform, to show their costumes, to show their skills and to show their love of Doctor Who. I want every single one of you, as they turn up onto this stage, I want every single one of you to clap, to cheer, to whistle, to take small children and throw them from person <laughs> to person. <laughs> Because these guys, not only have they, not only have they decided to step up here, even though some of them are very, very nervous, but some of you are really glad it isn't you. So tonight we have some amazing, amazing cosplayers. Um, I was going to cosplay myself um, over the years when I've been at conventions. My beard has made people suggest I would cosplay as the master. And I had actually considered doing it until last week on Doctor Who. <laughs> Just call me Missy. Just call me Missy. And before we start, before we start, I would like to point out we have some very strong judges here. If you've watched things like America's Got Talent, or The X Factor, or anything like that. Those guys are pussies compared to the judges of the Long Island Muscle. From left to right, we have the amazing Christine Evans. We have the incredible Alice Bryson. We have the amazing Brian Taranova. Introduction, but we have the incredible Cat <laughs> Smith! Unfortunately, due to contractual obligations, Cat Smith's ukulele will be in another show further on down the road. <laughs> we also have this evening the costume events director, Miss Jan Fennick! <laughs> and her assistant director, is she here? No, she's in the back of my Well, Nancy Hutchins is here, but we're not going to clap her. Oh, she's at the back! You're at the back! Why are you at the back? Nancy Hutchins! <laughs> so, you will have noticed there are people standing along the side. These people, one by one, will step forward for your entertainment. The people on this side will not be stepping forward one by one for your entertainment. Unless I think it's funny. <laughs> we have a lot to go through. We have lost a couple of people. If you weren't at the, uh, the place where you needed to go to get it all sorted beforehand, your name has been taken out. Uh, if you turn up going, why am I not in here? Tough. We need to get this done. We're expecting to have this done by about 9.20. That's about right. Is that okay? <laughs> There's nothing else happening tonight, is there? <laughs> oh, it's just some bloke who flies around in a box. So, so we will start... We will start with contestant number one in the Handmade Novice Division. Please give it up for Victoria Curtis as she comes on as Clara and Lord Squishington. <laughs> I 
actually got into trouble because I wrote Lord Squishington wrong and I was told. No, it's Lord Squishington. So, Lord Squishington there. In second, we have in the handmade and novice department, we have Marissa Brown as Soldi from the Horns of Nimon. <laughs> Going on there, I thought this is a gift. Well done. <laughs> I have given I have given Soldi his tribute now. A pair of glasses. <laughs> In third place, and we will need help getting onto the stage. Billy, could we all second? Okay, so it's got it solid. Brilliant. In third place, in the handmade novice department, we have Vera Lagan as the wire. Oh. <laughs> the prop is by Porter Masters Cash. Never been so aroused and terrified at the same time. <laughs> Although I have been on stage with Fraser Hines, so. <laughs> possibly, uh... <laughs> Where is that, at, in, in fourth place, we have uh, in the handmade novice division, we have Sarah Landek as the new Who Davos. And as Sarah said here, it took her 20 hours. She thought Davos would be fun to cosplay because she loves Daleks. Round of applause for Sarah Lander. Okay, so uh, number five we have in the Handmade Novice Division is Ninel Kuhn as River Song. <laughs> The Vortex Manipulator was handmade by Manila and her fourth doctor. She designed her dress herself. <laughs> Number six. Number six, we have Decker Dennett as Captain John Hart. by Nicholas J. Nearly Headless Dorian! as the empty child and Nancy. We're not hearing any of the recorded things. <laughs> now I'm hearing the voices. <laughs> so everything's a little bit out of sync. We'll have to make sure we get that sorted out. Uh, number nine. Number nine. We're doing well for time. You might still get to see that TV show. <laughs> Unless. I slow down. 
Who are we missing? Uh, number nine, we have Alexis Calhoun as Osgood in the Purchase Novice Division. Number 10, in the Purchased Novice Division, we have Evan Hillel and Ronnie Cohen as the Tenth Doctor and the TARDIS. <laughs> and I think they're both competing to who's going to be called sexy. Number 11 in the purchased novice department, we have Monica Martini as Amy Pond. <laughs> Number 12 in the handmade novice department. We have Jonathan Stonequist as the Tenth Doctor! I'm really glad you rang that bell just then because all day long I've heard that ringing around and I, I thought I had tinnitus in my ear or something. Or there was some like ghost child with a bike that was going to attack me. I'm, I'm quite glad now that it's right. Number 13, and now we have a, a slight, a, a, a different thing here because we have handmade and purchased in the novice division. We have Gregory Walsh and Caitlin Richards as the Master and the Eighth Doctor. <laughs> the Doctor's is handmade, the Master's is purchased. Number 14 in the purchased, it doesn't have anything else, it's just a purchased department, really. Uh, we have George, oh, sorry, George Rouse as the first doctor. <laughs> I've double locked the doors, Susan. Now move away from the scanner, child, so that I can see you. During all the years, I have been helping you. You, in return, have been helping me. But you're a woman now. You don't need me anymore. Not any longer. With David, you'll be able to have roots of your own. I want you to have roots of your own. Believe you me, your destiny lies with David and not with a silly old buffer like me. One day, I shall come back. Yes, I shall come back. Until then, there must be no regrets. No tears, no hesitations. Only go forward with all your beliefs and prove to me that I am not mistaken in mine. Goodbye, my dear. Goodbye, Susan. Novice department, we have Lily Wilkinson as Melody Mel's Pond. So, this is me. I'm just time. You've got a time machine, I've got a gun. What the hell? Let's kill Hitler. You better have an amazing speech. <laughs> One by one, this is it. <laughs> Number 17 in the purchased novice division, we have Rachel White as the second doctor. <laughs> Can you 
you might have your speeches, but that's musical talent. <laughs> we've had a couple of people drop out, so we've moved on to number 20 in the Purchased Novice Division. We have Amanda, uh, sorry, Alexa Dulitz as a clockwork droid female. <laughs> This is the clockwork droid from the episode Girl in the Fireplace. Padma Fuller of Cosplay Designs spent 72 hours creating this costume using nine different fabrics. Each of the rosettes is hand stitched. Number 21. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a sword, I'm terrified. So, he has a weapon, he wins. Number 21 in the Purchased Novice Department, we have Drew Kaufman as Rory the Roman! <laughs> there was designed by Nicholas J again. Number 22. In the Handmade Journeyman division, we have Douglas Rothko as the fourth doctor. The costume was designed by Douglas Rothkopf with help from Daniel Murillo, Rachel White and Victoria Rothkopf. Only a few left. We have an hour and a half. I think I might sing a song. Do the entire musical of Les Mis. <laughs> but I've got the microphone. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. Number 23. We have, in the Purchased Journeyman Division, we have Nick Martini as Harry Sullivan! place now we have number 24 in the handmade master division we have Charlene Dodge as a unit soldier and units latest recruit In the Handmade Master Division, we have Jessica Bubb as a Weeping Angel. <laughs> Don't blink. Whatever you do. Don't blink. Number 26. In the Handmade Novice Division. I'm already impressed. In the Handmade Novice Division, we have Dave Burns as a 10th Planet Cyberman. <laughs> Yeah, I can read that. 
That's the novice department. There are so many people going, damn, I'm going to have to up my game next year. We're down to the last couple, and number 27, and again, I'm so sorry, but you have to follow that. Number 27, in the Handmade Novice Division, we have Athena Bliss as Leela of the 17. <laughs> those jealous thorns. <laughs> and finally, number 28. There is no handmade, there is no purchase, there is no novice marked here. I believe it is handmade and purchased and part of the novice division. The final contestant of the Long Island 2 contest this year Sarah Feingold as a very bad wolf.